Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we are talking about moving to Colorado Springs, and we are going to get started right now. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Mark with the My Front Range Living Team, powered by Remax Integrity. We are a full-time real estate agent team here in Colorado Springs, and today we're talking about moving to Colorado Springs. So even if you're thinking about moving to Colorado Springs or you're already living in Colorado Springs, this is going to be a great video to help acclimate you to maybe a lifestyle you're not quite used to, or you're wondering what Colorado Springs has to offer. And because we were just voted, I guess, one of the best places to live in the world, you can imagine, that's right, we're one of the best places to live in Colorado. So as you think about this video and you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We'll talk about a relocation guide later to help you out, and we'll get to that after a bit. So the first thing that you need to know about Colorado Springs, we are community-driven. Holy cow, we love our community. We are all about local businesses and supporting our local friends, family, and neighbors. So we have restaurants, we have beer, we have distilleries, we have uh, locally owned boutiques. They are awesome. And we love to support our local friends. So we are community driven. That's one thing you have to know about moving to Colorado Springs. Next, uh, while we are a spread out city, very much spread out, um, we are a smaller city. Uh, it, we have a small town feel, but we're very, very close to a large city. We're only an hour-ish south of Denver, depending on how fast you drive. Uh, and we'll talk about construction in a second, but we're only an hour away from Denver. So while we have this smaller town vibe, if you're looking for uh, the metropolitan scene, absolutely accessible from Colorado Springs. And like I said, it's just an hour north, it's right up 25 and you're there. Uh, layers, uh, we talk about layers all the time. And why do we talk about layers? Because the weather here, has a tendency to be bipolar. There are days when it's a little chillier and then the sun comes out and it's 60 degrees and 60 degrees feels like 80 to people. But we talk about layers all the time because you can leave the house in the morning with your jacket on and then you get rid of the jacket and you have your long sleeve shirt on and then you take the sweatshirt off and you have a t-shirt on. Layers are a big deal. Our weather is very, very mild. It may start chillier in the day, but it's going to get warmer throughout the day and then chillier in the evening. So our weather is fantastic. The sun plays a big part in our weather. So when you move to Colorado Springs, be prepared for the sun, which is a great segue into so chapstick, lotion, water, and sunscreen. Why are those things important? We are very, very dry here in Colorado Springs. The sun is out almost 330 days of the year, full on sunshine. So we are in a semi-arid climate. What does that mean? So think desert. We are one step right above a desert. We don't get a lot of precipitation here, so it's dry. There's not a lot of humidity. So when you're coming from other places, maybe uh, eat, like when we came from Illinois, we're used to being at like 600 feet above sea level. It's humid there. There's moisture in the air. We don't have that here. Chapstick is a very real thing. Dry skin is a very real thing. You need lotion on top of the fact that we are at elevation. So we're at six and a half thousand feet above sea level and we're dry. You have to stay hydrated when you come out here. So for a lot of folks that move out here for the first time, they're like, oh my gosh, it's really, really dry. I have a headache. I don't feel well, yada, yada, yada. Water will cure that. And it takes a while for your body to acclimate, but after a while it will go away and you'll get used to it. You don't need it in such frequency, but water, chapstick and lotion is a big deal. Now, sunscreen. And I realize that right now in the thick of winter, it's a little bit weird to say, Mark, we don't need sunscreen. It's not the summer. Nay, I say nay. And here's why I say that. Again, we're at six and a half thousand feet above sea level. We are very, very close to the sun, which means you need sunscreen all the time. Now, if you have the jacket on and everything else, we understand that. But, you know, on your face, just a quick coat may help you from getting sunburn. Sunburn is very much a real thing in the winter here in Colorado Springs. Mark, you make it sound awesome. I know we do, but there's more reasons to move to Colorado Springs, not the least of which is jobs. Our job market is absolutely booming here in Colorado Springs. A lot of folks know us and we talk about it all the time. We are a military town. So we have a lot of military jobs uh, that segue very, very well into the civilian world, but that's not the only jobs we have available. Amazon has purchased quite a bit of land down at uh, our airport and they are building. Right now, I think one building's just about done and there's more on the way. So Amazon has a huge, huge presence here. And we have other commercial uh, developers that are coming into town and they're bringing a lot of jobs with them. We just read a story the other day where Colorado Springs is not projected to quit growing 
uh, until around 2040. So everyone wants to know when the housing is going to slow down. Not anytime soon. So if you're looking for a job, we have plenty of opportunities in a lot of different areas for you to explore in that capacity. If you're looking to go to college, hey, Mark, I like this weather that you're telling me all about. These job opportunities sound fantastic. Now I just need to get a college degree. Well, if you want to do that, we can help you out there too. We have Pikes Peak Community College. We have Colorado College. We have UCCS, so uh, University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. We have access to CSU Pueblo. We have very quick access to some of the universities in Denver. It's a great spot if you're looking for a higher education opportunity. We have colleges not only locally, we can do the, uh, the junior college experience if you wanna start there and then move on to a four year. It's definitely an option, uh, more so than it ever has been before. UCCS has seen a growing number of enrollment year after year after year. So, so it's nice to see those four year colleges coming in uh, and being online in addition to Pikes Peak Community College. Uh, one thing that you may not expect when you move to Colorado Springs, we don't really do right and left. We do north, south, east, and west. That's right, towards the mountains is a direction. We go north, we go south, we go east, and we go west. So we don't do a whole lot of turning right, turning left, uh, things of that nature, which was an adjustment for me when I moved here from Illinois. Uh, so yes, towards the mountains does count as a direction when you get here. Hey, here's something fun we can talk about. Weed's legal in Colorado. Everybody that we talk to, a lot of our friends, oh, just about everybody we chat with wants to know about marijuana usage. And no, it is not like everybody's on every single corner smoking weed. That's not how it works. They prefer edibles. No, in all seriousness, um, weed, of course, is legal here in uh, Colorado on a recreational basis. It's important to know that it is not available for sale recreationally in El Paso County where uh, Colorado Springs is, but it's very, very accessible on the outskirts. Super easy to get. Uh, yes, you can consume it recreationally, but uh, think of it along the lines of just regular smoking. It's not like there, there, there's restrictions. You can't just do it wherever you want to. You can't walk down the street and smoke a bowl. Folks do, but you're not supposed to, right? So um, yes, it is accessible. No, it is not widespread and prevalent. Don't think like that. Another question we get a lot about, uh, asked about is uh, politics, which normally a lot of folks don't like to talk about, but I'm excited to tell you we represent both red and blue sides very, very well. That's right. I think Colorado Springs is purple. And I, and I know that that's a, a little bit weird, but while uh, Colorado Springs has historically been conservative, um, obviously Denver uh, has a tendency to be more blue and democratic. Our state overall is blue. Uh, but Colorado Springs is going purple. So we're, we're, we're getting really, really good at joining those two together and living in harmony. It's going well. I think it's going very, very well. So um, if you want uh, conservative areas, we can absolutely talk about that. If you want a little more democratic and liberal, we can absolutely chat about that as well. But I would say from a political standpoint, we represent both sides very, very well. Hey, when you're done posting all those political signs, you're going to need to go to the car wash because your car got dirty. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but what we're trying to tell you is car washes are a very real thing here. Um, people get uh, car wash clubs. Uh, you can do like a $20 a month car wash club. It's just nice to go through a car wash, get your car washed off because it does happen. Your car will get dirty, especially right now in the winter when you get the, the blowback and everything else from the, the splashing and everything along those lines. So car washes, be prepared. Uh, we're either uh, getting snow on them or we have dirt on them in some way, shape, or form. We just get dirty cars on a regular basis for some reason. I don't know if we're in some sort of twilight zone with that, but we are. Be prepared to wash your car when you get out here. Another thing that you need to know about moving to Colorado Springs, specifically are if you are a family, moms and dads, this one's for you. We do something really, really unique here in Colorado Springs in that we have a choice option for your kiddos in school. What does that mean? Fantastic question. So um, taxing districts and things like that are largely based upon school district and the school district you live in. Well, you may live in one school district, but desire your kiddo to go to another one. And that's fine. You can do that. You can choice them in. For example, if you are living in school district 49 and you want your kiddo to go to school district 11, you can absolutely do that. You can say, hey, district 11, I'd really like my kiddo to go uh, to your school system. Not the D49 is bad. I just, you know, this school right here in D11 really fits my kiddos needs and I'd like them to go there. That's fine. You do need to know that there is a choice window, right? So if you're living in a school district and you miss that choice window, chances are you're going to have to go through the school year in your district that you live in. But 
you can hit the next choice window and you can get in there. So that's a great option too. If you have any questions on that, feel free to reach out. We're happy to help. It can get a little confusing and we uh, know that it's unique uh, for a lot of folks moving here who aren't used to that. So we can help out. No worries. Another thing that you need to know, we talked about um, not having a lot of moisture in Colorado Springs, water restrictions. Our water is a very, very precious resource. Uh, we don't have a lot of it because we don't get a whole lot of rain. Luckily, uh, predominantly, uh, most of our aquifers are fueled from the western slopes, so snow helps, it trickles down, and it's great. But if you're looking for a beautiful, green, lush yard that you can manicure and love on all year round, this is not the place for you. A lot of rock, uh, a lot of mulch, xeriscaping is what we call it. You can still have bushes, shrubs, trees, flowers, things like that but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're drought tolerant plants. We just don't get a lot of water here and you should be ready for water restrictions uh, when it comes to watering your yard. The last thing that I would tell you that you need to know about moving to Colorado Springs is the road construction. Holy smokes. We have two seasons, road construction and more road construction. So it's almost always going on. Again, back to that whole mild weather thing. Road construction can happen year round around Colorado Springs and they take advantage of that quite often. So be prepared to have a little hiccup on your commute. Well, hey, as always, we hope you found value in today's video. We are putting out content every single week to help you make Colorado Springs feel like home. The last thing I wanna offer, if you are thinking about moving to Colorado Springs or you have questions for us, you're feel, feel free to reach out. We'd love to help you any way that we can, but we have a relocation guide that you can download at no cost. The link for that is down below in the description of the video. Click on that, that is yours, no obligation whatsoever. Might help you uh, as you begin to make Colorado Springs feel like home. As always, I am Mark with the My Front Range Living Team powered by Remax Integrity. Thanks for stopping by. Look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.